Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we have a tone shootout between the Stingray short scale by Sterling by Music Man and the GNL Fallout Tribute. Let's do this. Next to me are two of the best vintage inspired short scale basses on the market under 600 bucks. We have the GNL Fallout Tribute as well as the Sterling by Music Man Stingray Short Scale. Both of these are modeled after their USA made counterparts with the GNL Fallout USA model and the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Short Scale. Um, these are very interesting basses with a lot of similarities but also a lot of differences. Let's talk specs first. Both of these basses are 30 inch scale short scale basses with a maple neck and maple fretboard and their single pickup basses as well with a master volume, master tone, and three-way toggles. The GNL Fallout has a basswood body underneath this beautiful candy apple red finish, and the Sterling by Music Man Stingray Short Scale is rocking a mahogany body, though the new dropped copper finish is offering a Naito body or Nato body instead of the mahogany here. So that is a bit interesting. The biggest differences between these basses are the neck profiles, uh, number of frets, pickup types, as well as just the overall size of the instruments. The GNL Fallout is a much bigger instrument, spanning from the butt of the instrument or the, uh, the strap pin all the way to the end of the headstock. This is about as big as a regular 34 inch scale bass, at least one with a, a 2x2 tuner configuration. Whereas the Stingray short scale is very compact and makes the most of its small size. The Stingray also has three more frets with 22 frets versus 19 for the GNL. The pickup locations are slightly different with the GNL having its pickup closer to the heel of the neck and the Stingray having its pickup closer to the bridge. The Stingray is rocking a neodymium pickup similar to that of the USA Stingray Special as well as the Stingray Short Scale, while the GNL is rocking the signature MFD pickup found in many GNLs and it's a powerful pickup. I believe it's a ceramic design. Um, it's, it's meaty, and this is basically a short scale GNL L1000. The Stingray short scale, on the other hand, I guess took some liberties on the electronics when comparing it to the regular Stingray, where this is featuring a passive control setup versus the standard two or three band EQ that you find in the full scale Stingray. The GNL has its truss rod adjustment at the uh, headstock end, where the Stingray has the wheel adjustment over at the heel of the neck. If you want me to go more in depth into both of these instruments, be sure to check out my full reviews linked in the description below. Now let's get to the playing. I've restrung both of these instruments with Diodario nickel roundwound strings, gauges 45 to 100 in the short scale spec, and uh, it's the same set for both of them, so let's get to this. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Thank you. 
Thing to note is I have the boost mode engaged on the Stingray short scale. You have a push-push volume knob which engages a gain boost when the knob is out. It's not really a gain boost but they're kind of holding the pickup back because it is a very hot pickup, this neodymium pickup. And the MFD is hot as well so I wanted to make sure both these bases are at their spiciest. Now let's go ahead and play both of these bases with a pick. <laughs> Thank you. 
And finally, let's slap both these basses. We're just going to keep the tone at 100%, but let's do it. <laughs> These are both great single pickup short scale options under $600. With the G&L being $600 on the dot or $599 or whatever, and the Sterling by Music Man Stingray short scale being $549. In both sound and feel, these are very different basses. With the Sterling by Music Man having a much narrower nut width, more akin to that of a jazz bass or a Sterling by Music Man SUB or Ray 24 where the GNL has a much fatter 41.3 millimeter nut width and a girthier profile overall. Um, the Sterling by Music Man has 22 frets as opposed to the GNL's 19. And playing wise, I mean, they're both very comfortable basses, though the GNL definitely does feel like you're playing a full scale instrument in terms of positioning with your arms. However, you do notice the smaller, I guess, fret spacing because of the short scale of the G&L. The Sterling by Music Man is definitely a more portable instrument, though I don't really find guitar portability to be that big of an issue overall. But if you wanted a travel Stingray or something like that, this is definitely a great option because it's tiny and it makes great use of the space that it's allotted, where you definitely have a lot of empty body space on the G&L just to make it feel bigger than it actually is, in a sense, in terms of scale. So those are my final thoughts on both of these bases. Again, if you want to see my full reviews on both of them, those are linked in the description below. Be sure to check those videos out. And let me know in the comments below which one of these you thought sounded better. I thought these are both great sounding instruments with very distinct different tones. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the GNL Fallout Tribute as well as the Sterling by Music Man Stingray Short Scale Bass. And as always, until we groove again.